Welcome to the Auto Nerds Pico Scope 6 introduction and the new 4000 series scopes. You're probably here because you're curious about Pico Scope and would also like to know more about the Auto Nerds Pico Scope experience. You see, here at Auto Nerds, we don't just provide a piece of equipment, we provide the total experience. The Auto Nerds mission statement is to enlighten automotive diagnosticians through the use of LSD. Of course, that would be lab scope diagnostics. And of course, there's no better way to achieve enlightenment than with the most powerful automotive lab scope in the entire world. And there's no better place to learn about PicoScope than with Auto Nerds. We're a global cult of automotive lab scope diagnosticians. We're also the PicoScope Automotive Authority in North America. We have affiliates in the U.S. and Canada. We pioneered Pico's technology's entry into the automotive market, and we have happy PicoScope users globally. We are the sole suppliers of the PicoQuad 4-channel packages and the Master Kit 2-channel packages. Each one of these packages contains additional hardware we've added, as well as our exclusive support and training package. The AutoNerds PicoScope support and training system is an ongoing growth experience for users as long as they own the equipment. PicoScope class happens whenever you want it to. We'll have more details on this a little bit later in the program here. We just want to get on with the uh, showing you a little bit about the PicoScope interface itself. Probably the first thing you'll notice is how well it's laid out here. We have the majority of the screen space is dedicated uh, to where it matters, and that is the waveform viewing area. Plenty of space here, uh, not a lot of uh, things covered up and wasted by extraneous buttons and controls that just take up a bunch of space on the screen. They're very thoughtful in the way they laid this out. Of course, as you know, it is PC-based, so this is what you're going to have on your PC screen, however big that screen might be. Um, and this makes deployment of PicoScope very flexible. You can deploy it in many different ways. You can have a desktop computer on a cart. You can have a laptop computer on a cart. You can have a little netbook computer from Office Depot for $300 and Velcro your Pico on the back of that and have a handheld. There's all kinds of ways you can deploy this scope. And what's great about having a PC-based unit, not only is the industry going that direction with their scan tools, with scopes, with data systems, information systems, everything is going that direction. So you might as well go there. You're going to sooner or later anyway. But not having everything wrapped up into one thing um, can, really, can really save some time when, when things go terribly wrong. Um, you know, let's say you have uh, one of those units that's all wrapped into one. You know, you've got your scan tool and your scope and the display and everything in one unit, right? Well, if something goes wrong with that unit, the whole thing's out the window until it can get back from the repair facility. Let's imagine you're using a, uh, a little $300 netbook from Office Depot and you're using PicoScope with it and uh, somebody drops that computer into a vat of coolant. Okay, it's done, right? It's finished. It's over. And you can be back up and running in the drive time it takes to go to Home Depot and pick up another $300 netbook, right? You load the software back up on the computer and you're ready to go again. So there's definite advantages uh, to having PC-based equipment. PicoScope software uh, is free for download. Uh, the upgrades are free. For as long as you have the equipment, you just go to Pico website, download the new software with bug fixes, new features, whatever else they've added to it from the last build. Um, very cost effective. You have your initial outlay to purchase the equipment, and then uh, you're done uh, spending money unless you want to, like, add more things and accessories to that package. What we have on the screen here is a 2000 Hyundai Accent 1.5. Single overhead cam, A is crankshaft sensor, B is camshaft sensor, 
C is injector number one, and D is secondary for cylinder number one. If you notice, that's all right down here in the notes area. That's a neat feature of PicoScope. You can add notes uh, to the file, and when you save it, your notes are saved with the file. And, and, and you can have a whole bunch of notes in here, actually. actually. It doesn't have to be one line. It can be a book if you want it to be. But anyway, uh, so that's really handy uh, to have that area there to jot down some uh, specific notes about uh, what was going on with the vehicle, maybe what channels what, etc. And despite the fact that uh, the great majority of space here is dedicated to the lab scope display area, we still have all of our controls uh, that we're going to be using most often right here at our fingertips. We have our drop down menu for our input range. This would be where we'd be adjusting the voltages for each particular channel. We have our AC DC coupling uh, for that channel. Each channel, of course, is color coded, and each channel's control is color coded to that channel. Then we have our B and our C and our D channels here. Now, if you want to move a channel, it's very easy to just grab the scaling on the side here and just move it. You want to rearrange your waveforms. Uh, you want to stack them in a different way, overlap them. Whatever you want to do, you can just drag the channels around very easily. You know, and obviously this is just a quick overview of some of the controls. We're certainly not going to get into great detail uh, on the detailed operation uh, of the software and all the different features that it has. Uh, they are many. And the movie you're watching right now is just an example of the format we use to provide extensive software specific and operational specific training for all of our group members. Uh, we have many hours of tutorial movies like this one that do go into those great detail and uh, give you all the information you need. Basically what we provide is all the support you require to reach whatever level of expertise you want to achieve with this equipment. The only thing you have to add, your ingredient of course, is your time to study and practice. We'll give you everything else you need. And of course more details on the specifics of that later. Up here we have our collection time and this is just very simply you know how much time we have per division. Uh, we can also um, uh, configure this to be uh, screen time or capture time. And keep in mind that a screen here on the PicoScope is a complete uh, full data record. Um, if any of you guys out there are familiar with the MODIS, a uh, screen on the MODIS is only uh, 256th of the capture. You're zoomed all the way in and your capture is all those screens that are going up into that buffer, right? Pico's different. Uh, a screen is the entire record. Um, it would be like looking at the MODIS fully zoomed out. So that's what we're doing here with this particular screen, and that's what these times represent. Uh, one millisecond of division is referencing the entire capture time of 10 divisions. And of course, we can zoom in on that too, and we'll show you that briefly. We'll show you that also here. So. We're just you're running 20 milliseconds of division uh, for this screen, so we have a total of 200 milliseconds on the screen for our total capture time.